you just got a magnet on his head. Yeah. Um. So moving on, smoke bomb. Pick it up, please. There we go. Good enough. Um. Two pegs. And I'm not even gonna get into the uh, bleeding kerfuffle I bleeding had with the XO2 the other day. Ho oh, ho, that uh, really cheesed me off. But well, I'll leave that till another time. Um, yeah, a spare utility belt. One's magnetized and the other's not. Uh, now this is what confused me. Um, well obviously like if you bought it new you wouldn't know what like it was from or anything but um, how I got mine was is that like it was just on the uh, I think it was packed in w with the harness so I don't know what it's used for in this set uh, at least obviously I know what they used for um, but like I don't know what lock it's from here so if you guys could uh, tell me what um, that's from I'd be uh, thankful so cheers for that and now moving on to the uh, the uh, head sculpt that is selling solely hey up man he's uh, how many is doing a bit of a groove uh, the head sculpt singly that is selling for about I think I seen it for 120 quid on eBay the other day well, I've decided to add a little bit of a character to mine. He's uh, gone a bit gangster. <laughs> I'm only kidding. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Let's take that off a minute. Oh, and of course, the uh, balaclava. Now, the uh, Christian Bale head sculpt. Try to get it in detail for you. Uh, oh, and this bit I will uh, gladly shout out the Clipper King on his um, head sculpt that he got from uh, Cian, Cian, I don't know however you, you pronounce that but like if you um, but like if you really want a uh, Bruce Wayne head sculpt he bought one for £17 from eBay, from Hong Kong, and uh, <clears throat> well, I'd say it looked pretty good. I mean, it's worth seventeen pounds. So, well, come on, you can't really uh, diss that. But still, um, <clears throat> now this, uh, I honestly have to say that, like, as soon as I opened the box, I thought, okay. This could either go two ways, as most things really do. Um, now, the head sculpt is really good. The detail is outstanding, to be honest. Um, but, like, I've got to say that, like, I've tried the pose where, like, the Hong Kong scene... And I gotta say, yeah, it is good, but it's not like is what like I was expecting it to be. Um, like in hand. Now I don't know uh, if that's just my opinion. So please, no, I don't want like any hateful comments saying oh this and that, and it's just it's pointless. Like I said before, this is my opinions. These are my reviews. So if you don't like appreciate that I have an opinion. Well, you you guys know what to do. So, but uh, going back to a point that a fellow Hot Toys friend of mine did, uh, Dino last he did um, also a Christian Bale uh, comparison. I think it was, um, and basically he had. Uh, like it posed up in certain angles and like from the side view you could tell that like who it was but certain angles you really couldn't but still like like on the whole 
I would honestly say that yeah, you know who it is, but it is a cracker of a head sculpt. So <clears throat> that really does it for about like accessories. Even though there's not that much with it, but still, for what it is, I would say that you've got more than a handful there at least. Oh, and of course, um, the pamphlet, pamphlet, no, um, kind of a leaflet thingy going on here, uh, telling you. Hang on a minute. Ooh, sorry about the dodgy. There you go. Stare at uh, Christian Bale and the uh, lovely Batman for the uh, two seconds. Right. Hang on a minute, I'll try to get this. Uh... Oh, and if you're wondering what the uh, noise is, that's the uh, chair. So. Okay, that didn't work how I wanted it to. Uh, come on, focus your... Yeah, so it pretty much tells you how to get the um, the head sculpt on and the balaclava, the harness, the spare belt. There we go. Um, like a comparison again from like him wearing all his gear to the Batman look as well. How to uh, take off the mouthpieces, how to take off the uh, head sculpt, uh, well, simply by the neck, and then the utility. Oh no, to have the grapple gun on. Oh yeah, of course. Silly me. <coughs> Two more accessories that I completely forgot about because that's how I'd imposed before is you get two batarangs uh, the other ones upstairs and in a few days time you guys will <coughs> excuse me you will see what like I actually mean um, why uh, I've only have the one down at the moment and of course the uh, grapple gun <laughs> sorry guys I just uh uh, I was just sat here thinking like, okay, um, how could I do or what can I say to uh, think of that facial expression like, Bleh! so yeah, that's the um, kind of like about to talk look or like a surprised look. Oh, and I'll just point out now, all the you need to do to take these off is just grab it by the uh, side of the mouth now it won't do it now because it's on camera bloody typical so oh god you bitch hang on a minute god it always happens I think um, yeah the same thing happened with uh, Pete over at uh, Ainsworth Productions, he uh, had a kind of a similar problem uh, to do with the 89 Batman um, mouthpiece, Pete Manophilia. Both of us can look like comp uh, complete prats now, so buddy, I'm with you now. Will it do it? Okay, no, it won't. Right, let's give it another go. Ah, there we go. Right. All it needs to do is, well, just well, kind of peel it off so it goes like that. Then they should come off without a uh, hitch. Now, the one I had him in, yeah, uh, I kind of think that's kind of funny. Because, well, of just how it is, and it's just like half on. Because I was actually trying to... Trying to like swap out the uh, pieces and whatever, and like that was like that, and oh, I was like, no, that won't do. Get in, you bitch. So yeah, um, so that's how the uh, pieces come away from the mouth and how they uh, fit in. So that's the uh, face sculpt that like I'm gonna stick with. So guys, I've gone for a. Uh, quite simple pose there at the moment 
uh, just about to throw a batarang um, and it's kind of like stanced as if to say yeah come on then you, you want some boys come fucking get some <clears throat> so uh, like as I said that's pretty much it for now um, but like that being like that it uh, puts pressure on the suit so what you'd want to try and do is uh, have it like in a certain way that it don't put pressure on the suit if you're uh, really conscious about that but like if you don't mind a crease here and there I mean I don't think you really would um, like a crease because of well come on it's a bleeding hundred and eighty pound figure well it was as soon as it come out now it's just going uh, through the um, sky but still uh, like on the whole uh, I really am glad to uh, finally have this in the uh, well like a part of my Hot Toys figures um, like as you know on a few like update things I said oh well I'm going to try and have this I'm going to try my best to uh, track one down and I'll finally have so I'm chuffed to pieces um, <clears throat> so yeah guys that pretty much wraps it up for the uh, re review side of things uh, now I want to give a quick shout out to uh, the uh, boys on Skype uh, Rick the Clipper King uh, Scott Gacko Scotty Boy, Eat Your Gem Sandwiches, Mrs. Patterson, uh, Mad Matty, Top Guy, uh, Mrs. Patterson, Many New and More Gem Sandwiches, Tesco, Tesco, Tesco. Yeah, um, <laughs> and of course, good old Baza, Barry, what's cracking, Mimi Jacking. So, yeah, um, Lambo, of course, uh, Curtis. Moggy215, there we go, uh, Warhawk Legend, uh, yeah that pretty much wraps it up, uh, oh yeah of course, Pete at Ainsworth Productions, Pete I do apologise buddy but well, come on, uh, so yeah, um, if you really want to check out like any other person's review on this, uh, I'm trying to think off the top of my head now. Uh, Dino Last has got one up. Clipper King's got one up. I think that's been taken down. I'm not too sure. But Rick, if it's taken down, please upload it again. Um, I'm trying to think of that guy's name now. Because uh, I was speaking to him about it, and I think he got his from Hong Kong. Oh bloody hell! I can't remember now. Um, he did a review on the bank robber Joker as well. Oh shit! I can't think of his name. Sorry, buddy, but uh, if I know that you're watching this, so I do apologise. Um, but like as I say, uh, I will shout you out uh, like on the next Hot Toys review I do. Um, <clears throat> and good things will come your way so the next review I'm planning on doing will be a blu-ray uh, but for the next Hot Toys I'm thinking uh, maybe a classic Predator yeah I think I'll go for that um, oh yeah Scott of course man I had to uh, God, I had to sneak in a little bit um, <laughs> so yeah, uh, the Joker 89 is coming out in March sometime, I don't know the exact date even though that there were rumours that the um, that like it was set for to come out this week I think, but well I don't know if that's still happening or what, but yeah, so, but guys, uh, I do appreciate um, like all of the support from all of the subscribers um, and all the people that view these videos um, 
so so all I can say is just thank you very much. I think it's been one of them days. See ya, say all of me good boys and what do I do I leave something out? Oh, honestly, nah. Um yeah, the like other accessory that you have is um well is the basic hot toy stand focus. See now it focuses on Batman. So yeah, it says Batman Bruce Wayne bat suit begins version and a uh, lovely uh, silhouette there